up you guys welcome back if you're new welcome and today we're gonna do a look for st. Patrick's Day uh, technically this will be you know the last video before st. Patrick's Day but I have another one that's gonna happen after st. Patrick's Day it's just st. Patrick's Day happens to be on a Sunday and it's in between like film days you know what I mean like it's just it's awkward anyway we're gonna have a couple of great looks coming up just deal with it okay not that I don't do green looks like all year round I like green and purple they're my two favorite colors okay so you, you see a lot of it sorry sorry about it all right so let's get into it I thought I'd do kind of a get ready with me style because I skipped Monday so I feel like I owe you guys like a big video you know what I mean like I don't know that's just the way my brain works so that's what we're doing again deal with it all right um, I recently, um, <clears throat> one of you commented on, like, they saw something about Kimchi Chic Beauty and they immediately thought of me because I talk about them so much. And it kind of made me realize, like, you know, I still have, like, my staple items that I use in, like, every look. But, like, I've really kind of gotten away from using Kimchi Chic for, like, a lot. And, uh, a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was, like, applying to be on the Kimchi Chic squad and like I kept getting rejected and I kept getting rejected and I kept getting rejected and I kind of got like a little bitter about it <laughs> not gonna lie so yeah like there's still like staple items that I use but like I just kind of got away from like using a lot of their items just as a whole so I just thought you know what let's do a green look with some kimchi chic and like let's just kind of you know I'm in a better headspace <laughs> so we're gonna try and use like as much kimchi chic as we can because like I have a lot of it because I love the brand and when I love a brand I buy like everything that I can but like I, I kind of got away from using them for a while and like I just kind of want to re fall in love with Kim I guess because <laughs> just I don't know I didn't deal with I mean like okay if it had just been like one rejection that would have been fine but like I was applying every month and every month I was getting rejection. So, like, I was just like, you know, maybe I'll wear them down with persistence, but I didn't. <laughs> and also, like, I was doing every, like, PR, you know, contest that they were doing every year and stuff like that. Like, I just, like, it, it's been, like, a year's kind of thing that I've been trying to get on the squad. And, like, they just keep rejecting me. So, I got a little bitter about it. <laughs> Hello? Coco's playing with this cow on the bed and it almost fell off the bed. <laughs> I had to save it. <laughs> Sorry. Pardon me. What? What? Are you want to attack me? You want to attack me? Punk? I'm going to steal your cow. I'm going to steal your cow. Okay, you can have it. He's like... He's five months old. He's like almost, I think, full size. I don't know. And like almost all of his teeth are coming in. So we're kind of getting out of the teething stage, but he's still teething. So it's it's been interesting. He's a strange little mix of things right now. <laughs> Poor little guy. All right. Enough about the puppy. Let's get into the look, shall we? Um, I have primed my face with the Pore Professional Primer. And uh, this actually, by the way, <laughs> on sale at the uh, 21 Days of Ulti, Saturday. Just so you know. I will definitely be picking up some. Thank you. Love that primer. Okay. Um, for the face. I think I'm going to mix the two house slabs. Wait, where's the other one? Did it fall off into the abyss? Okay, I don't know where the other one is. It's fallen off my desk and rolled under the bed or something. So we're going to not do that. Let's, uh, let's mix these two Uma booties together. Um, I, okay, fun story. Um, this Flawless in Real Life has been, like, my go-to foundation for, like, ever. And then because I've, like, reviewed so many foundations last year, I haven't had to buy any for a while because I was trying to use out all the foundations that I, like, reviewed. And, uh, finally, like, those are trying to start to, like, dwindle down. So I was like, you know what? Let me finally go, like, buy this, you know, Flawless in Real Life foundation again. And, like, I remember, like, recently, like, recommending this to one of you. And, um, the display for this is no longer at Walmart. Like, they don't even carry the brand. And I was like, oh, okay. No big deal. 
I'll just go onto the Uma Beauty website and buy it there because it was carrying Uma Beauty and the Uma by Sharon C. Their site is down. Like, I don't know what is going on with Uma Beauty, but like, it's still available at Ulta, but I think the brand is like kaput or they're rebranding or something, but I haven't seen anything on social media from them about like, please stay tuned, like we're, we'll be back or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. It's weird that like such a big brand just like dipped and nobody knows anything. So weird. Anyway, um, I've got to mix two different foundations together because like I'm like you can't tell because I still just look pasty with all these lights. But like uh, normally this time of the winter I am like ghostly white, and because of the puppy and having to be out with him every day, I'm actually like out in the sun more than I normally am, and I'm like a little darker than I normally am at this time of the year. So like I'm suddenly in between my like summer shade and my winter shade, but I'm not normally this dark this soon so I'm like struggling to find like the right shade okay so there's that now kimchi does have a foundation and I did review it but it's not really good for dry skin like it just really dried my skin out like it did not look pretty on my skin so not going to do that. They also have really good concealers, but unfortunately I don't really have one in the right shade for me. So I'm going in with this Juvia's Place. I actually bought this recently and I'm really loving it. I've heard really good things, but I've never tried this brand myself. So really, really love it. This like might be my new favorite concealer. Okay, there's that. Now it's time for the Tawny Baylor contour. This has been my go-to contour uh, for a while now. <laughs> this is not my first compact of it. Um, I just, I don't know, I've tried other ones, but this one just gives me exactly what I need for the way that I do makeup. So like this has been my go-to because like I have hooded eyes, so I have to use the white section to kind of press into my my crease area so that it doesn't crease the you know foundation and the concealer or whatever um, and same with the under eye like this is really good for setting the under eye for me and then I don't know the contour is just a good powder contour <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, I, I don't know. Something about it is just the best. Like I've tried other contours and I always come back to this one. I don't know if anyone even cares, but if you're wondering like what my trick is for my like contour line, I go from like the top of my ear and take it to under my lip, and that's my line. If you're ever going to recreate my makeup, that's how I do it. So just do that on you. Okay, contour done. Now we're gonna do blush. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Pinky Rosé. I haven't used this in a while, but it's, so pretty and it's very like light and spring um they also have like these cheeky threesomes that are like three different blushes and they have several of these little ones too like there there's so many blushes and they're so pigmented very easy to blend like so obsessed with these i have like three of these and probably like four or five of these so good just kind of got away from using them because I was mad at the brand. It's not even their fault. Okay, so I'm going to take the lighter shade on the apple and then the slightly darker shade further back. Now, for the highlighter, um, I have a few of theirs, but like for the green look that I want to go with, I think this is going to work the best. This is their Glam Tears in Opal, 
and it is so gorgeous. Now it is a liquid highlighter, so I think I went over this in another video, or I maybe hadn't posted that video yet. I cannot remember. I'm batching a lot of content today. But <laughs> if you're gonna do a liquid highlighter, you wanna do it on like a Z palette or like the back of your hand first, and then apply it with a brush because it's going to take up all of your foundation if you just go directly on your face and apparently there's just not enough people that know that <laughs> so the more you know or you can even just tap it on with the finger which i think is gonna work out better now for the lips <clears throat> I really just want to do like a dark red lip, I think. So this is Girl Next Door. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of Slay, like right in the middle just to kind of lighten it up, but I'm going to do like a full red lip first. Let's get into the eye. Brows. This is the Kembrelli Brow Pencil. This, the Thayla Contour, and the F and Liner White are like the three things that I use in like almost every single look that I do. This is $10, which is like there are other similar products on the market, of course, but this is $10. This is $10, guys. And it is so good. Like that it has the little spoolie on one end, product on the other, and this is so creamy and easy to blend. And like, I can't remember how many shades they have it in, but like they have it in several shades for different, you know, brow tones. Um, this one is like dark brown, I think is what it's called. I don't know. I don't remember the exact shade name, but this one, I love this one. I've tried other things. They're great, but I always buy these. get into this eyeshadow y'all so here's my idea okay like I wanted to do like a green look but I want to do like kind of a, a swirly cut crease through it and then have that be like rainbow colors because like green pot of gold rainbow whatever you know St. Patty's Day so um I pulled the juicy nine and then I've got uh, the Holy Sharts So Effin' Bright. So we're gonna do the green look with this and I'm probably gonna use some of the shimmers out of this and then pair it with shimmers from the other one. Um, just, you know, for funsies. All right, so I th think I'm gonna start off with Radioactive right under the brow bone. Okay, I don't feel like that's really showing up very well. Like it shows here, but not there. <laughs> let, me, let me mix in a little Saturn with it. Okay, now I'm gonna take Space Invader right below that. a denser brush and we're gonna take Martian I'm gonna take that like almost all the way over across the lid because like the way that I'm gonna do the little wavy thing you know what I mean okay now for the like, under eye I'm going to do Martian as well Saturn. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the F and liner white, which this has been my go-to white liner. Like the the Trixie hot liners are really good, but like when I just need something quick, this is the girl. This is it. So I'm gonna do my little under eye. I'm gonna fill in the whole thing. And then I'm going to take the uh, Gerard Clean Canvas White 
and cut out the little swoop thing that we're gonna do. So, now I'm gonna start off with gamma ray in the inner eye area. I think I really have an orange shimmer in here. Let me see if I've got one in here. We do, okay. So I'm going to take amber. shimmer or do I want to do a pink? Because red on the white is going to look pink anyway. Let's do alpha after that. From the red we're going to go into purple. So I'm going to do ultraviolet. And then we're going to do blue velvet. to kryptonite from there. Then back to Gamma Ray. Back to Amber. I think I'm just going to kind of outline that with some white liner and then do liner, lashes, and a wig, and I will be back with the finished look. And here is our finished look. I haven't broke out the neon wig in a while, and I thought, you know what? I feel like that's appropriate. <laughs> I love this. I think this is so fun. Like, it was a fun little idea. Good job, Lana. Um, yeah, I did go over um, the, the shimmers with the Prism Dust from Dualism Beauty, just to give them a little bit more of a pop. But, uh, yeah, this was this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I haven't done a get ready with me kind of style vidya in a while. So yeah, happy St. Patrick's day. Don't forget to wear green or people like me will pinch you. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, you know what? Well, he's asleep. Dang it. I was going to say, I have a little bow tie. For Coco for St. Patrick's Day. Not that I would pinch my dog, but like it's, it's St. Patrick's Day. He's gotta have green, right? Although technically his color is like neon green. So I guess he doesn't really need it. Whatever. It's so cute. Anyway, he's sleeping, so I'm gonna be nice and not wake him up, but I'll insert a photo of him with it here. <laughs> How cute is he? And I got a matching one for John Henry. They're so cute. Okay, so this was this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you on Monday, hopefully with the new Nomad palette for Ireland. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye.